What's up, mushroom fam? It's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. Today, I'm at my mushroom farm in Sedalia, Colorado, and I'm gonna show you how to make a DIY incubator. So if you wanna know why you need an incubator on your mushroom farm, uh, check out our video up here or the link in the description below. The materials that you would need to make a DIY incubator are a cooler. So you can use a number of different size coolers. This was just one I had laying around and it fits a couple stacks of Petri dishes perfectly. So it's nice for transport and it will make a really nice incubator. The next thing you need is a heating mat. So this is a plant a starter mat, which is probably a little overkill, but anything that fits inside and is really efficient is ideal. You can use reptile heating pads or uh, little heating rocks they make as well that would work really nicely. And the next thing that you would need is a thermostat. So I like these digital thermostats. There's also Ink Birds. This is a Pawnee brand I was gifted for free, but ideally, you would have the capability to change the temperatures really easily as the, um, the temperature will fluctuate when the cultures are growing inside of here. This is a DuraTherm foam cooler. It would be really nice even in the middle of winter, I'm sure it would work super efficiently. The steps to make this DIY are super simple. Um, the first step is going to be just putting this pad in the bottom of the cooler. You can also lay some insulation over the top so that your cultures don't have direct contact or just uh, you know be aware of maybe flipping your plates upside down so the auger doesn't dry out from touching the pad. So I'll go ahead and place this in there. And it's nice and snug inside that cooler. So I'm going to go ahead and extend this cord out and I'm going to cut a little notch here so that the cord can easily plug into this uh, thermostat. So I'm just going to make a really thin cut and it shouldn't, you know, cause too much issues with the temperature because this cord will be here. But if you're super concerned, you can go ahead and fill that in with some foam. Okay, so that stayed close really nicely. Um, lastly, I'm going to drill a hole for the probe here. And then this is going to take the temperature inside the incubator. So I'll go ahead and um, drill a hole through the top of here. And that will also allow for some air exchange. but it will make a really nice port to place this probe. And this one comes with a nice little suction cup so I can control the depth of that probe according to where the cultures are inside of that incubator. So I really like that feature. Um, and then I will go ahead and plug this into the heating one port and it says we're holding 70 or 84 in there and the target is 77. So, so before you place your cultures in there, make sure you get a stable reading for at least a few hours and um, then adjust accordingly because the more mass that's gonna be in there, it's gonna cause fluctuations uh, for your temperature. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video on a DIY incubator. Go check out our other video on why you need an incubator for your mushroom farm. And if you're interested, we have cultures on our Etsy shop, Fresh Fungi. Link in the description below. Until next time, much love.